Hello everyone and welcome back to Wolf Quest 2.7 and we are moving on from Amethyst Mountain and we are now going into the depths of winter and we're entering a new phase of pack life for Eclipse and his beautiful mate Twilight. So as you guys know Eclipse is the heir to the Luna Moon pack. He is carrying on the second generation having been one of the puppies that survived from Luna's former litters and we are going to see what life has in store for him now. So, survival of the pack. A wolf's life is about one thing, passing on its genes to the next generation. All else, from hunting elk to defending a territory, drives towards this single goal. You and your mate survive the hazards of the wilderness long enough to meet each other, form a bond, and survive the winter. Now, you can try to realize this goal. With, the pups, with pups of your own, you and your mate will become the breeding pair, formerly called alphas. So remember guys, that is a big change. There's breeding pairs, alphas, betas, omegas, that has been thrown out the window of science. And they have gone back to looking at the wolf pack as breeding pair. Not alphas, not betas, not omegas, those are all gone. Because uh, that was bad science, they decided. So we are here with the breeding pair of the pack. Their survival and the survival of your genetic code will be your responsibility. Even with all the dangers you have faced to reach this point, your real struggle has only begun. All right, so we're going to try to survive. Oh my gosh. Oh, I remember this mountain. I know where we are. <laughs> All right, spring is breaking in the high valleys of Yellowstone National Park. After a bitter winter, you and your mate know the time has come to start a family. Since other packs have already claimed the slopes of Amethyst Mountain as their own, you have ventured across the Lamar River in search of your own territory. The meadows and hills around Sloth Creek look promising. Tucked somewhere in the hills and woods here is a den site for your pups. An ideal den site should be close to food and away from dangers such as rival packs. If you can't find this ideal, you will have to decide whether food or safety is more important to you. All right, so we're going to be looking for a den now. Oh my gosh, look at this. A den in the depths of winter. Oh my goodness. So what's around here? Okay, we have got the big upland meadows. So there's a stranger wolf pack up here. There's a den site over at Saddle Meadows, a den site up at Aspen Heights, a den site down at Bison Peak Cutoff. And then we've got the hunting grounds. So three hunting grounds, including between the meadows. So we've got the big, they yeah, brought the little dog again. Ha! Huh? And then the Douglas fir slopes have traditionally been where we go to the summer hunting grounds. So this is going to be interesting. So last time we managed to get, I believe, the Bison Peak Cutoff den and the saddle meadows den with luna and soul so i kind of i loved the saddle meadows den but you know we've never looked at the aspen heights den before it's really far away from where i think the summer hunting grounds will be so i'm a little nervous to go all the way out there but let's take a good look at what life has to offer now that it has changed so much i mean look at this oh this is so pretty look at all the rocks everything is so different oh let's run down here you know what I want to do? I actually, and let's see what it's like to get across the river. Getting across the river used to be so immensely difficult and dangerous. So let's go ahead and see, is there like a proper, it looks like this area is a little more shallow than everywhere else. There's a proper spot to try to cross. Oh, it's cold and wet. Look at their little ears. They're like, no, this isn't so fun. There we go. There we go. Oh my gosh, so is that the lone tree? That's the lone tree, look at it. It's the lone tree right over here. Oh man, this brings back memories. Oh, look at this. So this, this my wonderful mate is the lone tree. Uh, we grew up kind of, kind of close to here. We grew up over there. Um, in fact, let's go ahead and we'll check out this den site first. And then we'll loop around and peek at all three and see how they are different now. And then we'll have to figure out I'm kind of thinking I want to try the Aspen Heights den, but I think that would be extremely difficult and dangerous. So I'm not sure. Hmm. Ooh, the Canyon Cliffs. That's new. Are those the Canyon Cliffs? Wow. That's beautiful. Are we in elk hunting ground? Okay, let's see what the elk hunting ground is like over here. So we should be downwind. Oh, 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 oh. There's a scent. An elk of an unknown age. No scent. Oh, then, or like an elk scent, but the age is unknown. Is it going this way? Were they going towards the water? I think they were going towards the water. Did it go across the river? It did. Well, let's follow the scent just so we can see what the hunting is going to be like over here. 
All right, splash, 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 doggy paddle. Oh, 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 they're converging. <gasps> There's elk herds here. Yes, I've never seen elk herds like in, in this area before. I always only found carcasses last time. So this bodes very well. I really like the idea of being so close to a hunting ground, except for the fact that does mean you're going to have other predators competing with you and other predators coming by. We're just gonna splash across for now. Like the bears and the eagles and the coyotes who are gonna be coming by in order to eat from the elk carcasses, they will show up over here. Oh, it gets a little bit deeper over here, doesn't it? There we go. Whoa, stuck in a hole. All right, well, we'll go ahead. Are you following us, Twilight? Yeah, she's right here. But we'll go ahead and wrap around. Oh, look, it's the puddle of water. It's this little pond. We were raised there. Oh, we were raised right up here. This is so exciting. Are there any other scents? We need to make sure there's like no stranger danger scents, no sense of coyotes, no sense of bears. There's a den nearby. All right, so let's go ahead. Oh, look at that boulder. Like there's just so many details now. So many details. So let's come up and we'll check out the den and decide if this is the den we want. But I do think the bears would be more active in this area. Because, oh look, talk about memories. Oh my gosh. Okay, so we're gonna keep looking. Here on Saddle Meadows, the nearest elk grounds are some distance from this den, as is the nearest wolf pack's territory. If you choose this site, you will travel farther to hunt, but worry less about stranger wolves encroaching on your territory. Oh, that's so awesome. All right, well, let's rest here for just a minute. And we're going to make it day. So we're going to say that these two decided to rest over here. Oh, look at this. This is so exciting. There we go. And let's go check out the Aspen Den. Because I don't think we have ever gone up that far. Maybe just once. So we'll cut through. I like this site. Even though I am aware that it might involve a lot of bears. So this might be a good den site. That's going to be towards a stranger wolf pack. This is going to be towards where we should find another den. So let's run down here. Good job, Twilight. Look at the little paw prints in this in the snow. That's so awesome. All right, let's see. Old oxbow. And we're just going to walk for a second. We might have to find food. So we'll hunt at the next elk hunting grounds. And we'll see what the food situation is going to be like. But let's run all the way over there because we've n I've never been over there. Yeah, I'm pretty sure Twilight has a lot more stamina than us because she's faster too. All right, so we should be running into the elk hunting ground. Not that I see a lot. Oh, look at this, a carcass. All right, we got a little bit of food. Let us eat my meat. Who knows who left this behind, but it's ours now. Oh, she drew a little heart in the snow. That's adorable. All right, so there we go. Man, it's kind of empty out here. Does this place become covered in grass? There's another elk carcass. Is there like, um, is there something hunting over here? Because I want to know if there's just going to be like suddenly a grizzly bear <laughs> showing up out of the blue. All right, so far no sense of anything. So it should be okay. All right, let's see. We'll walk for a second. It's a good long distance here. So the thing is, if the summer hunting grounds are still in the same place that I think they are, this would be a very dangerous decision to put the, the den here, if you ask me, because this would put the den really close. Let's see. So we're in the elk hunting ground now. But I think it would be very dangerous, or it wouldn't put the den very close to the summer hunting grounds is what I meant to say. Yeah, that wouldn't be a good thing. If our den isn't close to the summer hunting grounds, then our puppies are at risk, you guys. And that's never a good thing. And I don't I don't smell any elk, but we're we're not right like we're upwind from them, we're not downwind, so they probably skedaddled. They're like, nope, there's a wolf coming. We already lost a couple of members a little while back. Not gonna have this happen again. Alright, so yeah, I don't smell anything. Let's go ahead and walk up here and we will check out this other area though because it is far away from stranger wolf pack territory. And I don't think I've ever gotten that good of a look at it to see what it's like and to see if we're gonna pick it for Eclipse. So, den nearby. All right, let's see if we can find it. Where is it? Is it up here? I'm not very familiar. Okay, so it should be like right in front of us. 
I'm not very familiar with where the dens are located here. Oh, this one! Oh, it's like, oh, it's an aspen grove and it has a coyote! Well, that doesn't bode well. That does not bode well, if this is gonna be our den. We're gonna keep looking. I don't think finding, I mean, it's really cute. Don't get me wrong, like, it, it's a nice looking den. I really do think it's nice looking. But the fact that there was a coyote, like, right over there. Look at him walking away. That doesn't bode well. So let's go down and we'll look at the Bison Creek cutoff. Uh, Bison Peak cutoff, even. And we'll see if that's the den we want. I'm thinking it might be a good choice. Because it's very, very close to the Douglas Fir Slopes, which is the summer hunting grounds. But the downside is that we would have to compete with the strangers. Because I believe the stranger territory expands in the spring and summer. And we've had a lot of issues with that in the past. So we'll have to think about it. And stranger wolves will kill our pups. Oh my gosh, is that it? I think we can see the den site from over here. Wow. Because it's a very specific type of tree. It's very pretty. But I, I don't know, I'm kind of tempted to go to the den where we were raised. So, um, yeah, I think we'll go back to the den where we were raised. Because as tempting as this one would be, we didn't have very good luck with Luna's litters here. But at the same time, different den sites. Mmm. Oh, it's so cold. What? Look at their little ears. What do you guys think? Which den do you think we should pick? Alright, let's just trot up to it. I like how it makes itself very obvious about what it is. I don't know, we had good hunting grounds here. Maybe we'll pick this one the, for the first litter. And we'll just see how we do. Apparently we're near something. I hear the music, but... Okay, I don't see the scent of anything. Am I gonna scare away another coyote? All right, oh, we didn't, we didn't unlock this one. So I bet this is one of the mini den sites we can pick. And I don't think we unlocked this one because you have to get even more experience points in order to unlock it. So we didn't unlock it. So we're gonna have to keep moving. I thought that was kind of close to check the last den site. So there are four den sites just like before. I wasn't sure if there would be. And in the last version, you had to have over 20 or 40,000 points. I can't remember which one. And that's a lot. So you had to have like 20 or 40,000 points in order to have that middle den site there. All right, let's keep going. And that was just, that was a lot, a lot, a lot of points. I'm kind of thinking maybe just trying this den out would be okay. All right, let's come down here. The trees are really dark over here. Oh my goodness. All right, I mean, let's see, let's see. Bison Peak Den. It's got the tiny hole in the ground. It is equal distance from the elk hunting ground and the nearest wolf pack territory. Hunting forays will take longer, but stranger wolves are less likely to intrude in your territory. Hmm. Hmm. You know, it does have more forest cover. So you know what? I think next time we will go ahead and we will make this our first den and we will have our puppies, our first litter with Eclipse and Twilight and we'll see if we have better luck than Luna and Sol did trying to raise their puppies over here because we are right up against an actual hunting grounds. On the other hunting grounds in Saddle Meadows, I think we would have had to go across the river to chase the elk like over to where we needed them to be. So let's go ahead and we'll try out the Bison Peak Cutoff Den and if that doesn't work, well then there is always next litter because that is the way of wild animals if at first you don't succeed have more babies again next year and i will see you guys next time when we're going to go ahead and have these two have their first litter of puppies this is going to be so or i should say wolf cubs <laughs> this is going to be very exciting so i'll see you guys then Bye bye